Hello children, welcome to yet another science lesson. Um, yesterday we began on grouping of uh, levers, okay, with the Mr. Ekorat. And uh, yesterday when he was grouping uh, these levers, I think you came up with the three groups which he called classes, okay? So classes are just the same as groups. So the three groups he had yesterday uh, include uh, the first group which we called first class levers. Then I'm sure he also talked about second class levers and third class levers. But for now, uh, we are going to move away from first class levers and want to look at second class levers. Before we do that, I want us uh, to look back into the first class lever uh, tools or machines, okay? So I remember him telling you that uh, if they ask what are first class levers, it means these are tools that have, okay, their pivot between the load and the effort. Now I want um, a tool like this. What is this? Children, what is this? May you tell me this? It's a common tool we use at home, okay? It's a, compo a common simple machine that is at home. Huh? Yeah, this is a, uh, a pair of scissors. Now, this pair of scissors, that if I'm to use it, okay? Basically, we use it to cut things. Huh? Now, when we are dealing with these classes of levers, I want you to know basically three things. Once you know those three things, I'm not going to have any other challenge um, in identifying them, all right? Now, the three things you're supposed to know include one, where do I hold? Where do I hold that object when I'm to use it? The part that I will hold when I'm using it, that's where the effort is, okay? Like for this one, when I'm to use it, this is where I hold it. It means where I'm holding it, this is now the effort, no? So, because this is the the force, I apply the force to do my work here, right? Now, in the process of doing this, okay, there is a part that will be moving in a fixed position, in one position. You get that? That's the fixed position. Look at that. Look at this point, okay? That is where these bars, these rigid bars, that's where they're turning, okay? So that is the pivot. Which other name do we give to pivot? If I don't want to call it pivot, how else do I call it? Okay? Yeah? Yeah, we, we can call it fal, fulcrum. F-U-L. C-R-U-M. Fulcrum. If we don't want to call it pivot, we call it uh, fulcrum. Now, here was the effort. Here we have talked about pivot or fulcrum. Now, remember, okay? Remember these tools we are talking about here. Basically, we are using them to do our work. Now, we have made these tools so that they make our work easy. Now, the work this tool is supposed to do, which part is supposed to do that work? Is it this? Is it this middle part? Or it is this part? Since we use this tool for cutting, okay, it is this part, okay? When you see my finger like I'm cutting, huh? if I'm to, okay, where you see that finger? Or I want to cut my hair. Now, this hair I'm cutting becomes the Lord, okay? If I'm to use it for cutting hair, uh -huh. the hair becomes the what? The load. People use it for cutting maybe papers. That paper becomes the load. Uh, tailors, they use it for what? Clothes, cutting clothes. This cloth becomes the what? It becomes the load. Now, when I look at this tool, because this is exactly what we're going to do with the rest of the tools in the other second class and in the third class, because when we reach there, we shall not have much work if we can get this as it was taught previously, okay? Now that the effort is here, the pivot is here, and the load is at this point, we have said this is in the first class lever. Now, I want a child to give me the reason, looking at the position of the three. Why do we say this one is in the first class lever? Because when I now go to the next, second class levers, third class levers, we shall not talk much. Uh huh. You said... Correct. You said it is because the pivot is between the load and the effort. That's right. Now, 
Following this arrangement, I want us to go to the next group of levers, which we call second class levers. And I want us to find the reason why we call them second class levers. I just want us to look at them. Okay? Um, this is what we are going to see there. Hmm? This is what we are going to see there. Let's look at this. Second class levers. Okay? I don't want us to look at uh, the definition. We shall see how it comes when we look at these diagrams of mine. Okay? Let's look at... Aha! Uh -huh. There we are. Let's look at this wheelbarrow. Do we see it there? Check this wheelbarrow. Look at it. Hmm? See where this man is holding this wheelbarrow. Remember these tools, we have made them so that when I'm carrying, when I'm doing some work with it, that work is easily done. Okay? That work is easily done. Now this man is using this wheelbarrow. He wants to carry something with it. Okay? Now, where is he carrying? Remember for this one was first class. Its load was here. Pivot here. Now where I'm holding it, always where they're holding it, that's where the effort is. Okay? Meaning where this gentleman is holding it, this man here. Where is he holding? That's where the effort is. Okay? Then you come here. Whatever he carries, maybe sand, you know, common, they use them in building sites, eh? Maybe sand, hmm? maybe it is a sand, they carry it here. Huh? Sand, okay? That middle part. Huh? Sand. Then when you look at uh, this tire, okay? Check the tire of the old barrel. That is the part which moves, which turns. That means that is where the pivot is, Okay? That's where the pivot is, okay? When you look at the tire, that tire, that's where the pivot is. Now, that middle part where you carry sand, where you carry uh, uh, maybe uh, cement, whatever you carry. Some people use it in the garden. You put your maize there, sweet potatoes there. That's where the load is. It is the reason they have written that part, load, okay? Now, when you look at this tool, okay? When you look at this tool carefully, you will realize that um, just like here, we said this is in the first class lever because the pivot, we always consider the middle part, okay? Look at the three, effort, pivot, and load. We're looking at the middle part of that lever. The middle part here is a pivot. What about for this one, which is the middle part? Is it still the pivot which is in between? No. Which one is there? Correct. The part which comes in between, okay? Unlike now this one, which is the pivot, but for the second class lever we are seeing, it is the load, okay? It is the load which is in between the effort and the fulcrum. Are we there? So if the load is in between the pivot and the fulcrum, uh, sorry, we, Sorry, if the load is the one which is between the fulcrum or pivot and effort, because this fulcrum can be called pivot, okay? If it is the load which is in between here, which is in the middle of these two, eh? see effort is there, pivot or fulcrum is here. Now the middle one is the load, that is now second class lever. So whichever tool we are going to have, okay? If we see the load we are going to overcome, is in the middle okay it is in the middle of effort and fulcrum that tool we're going to say it is a second class lever okay so here we have a wheelbarrow huh? think about that another one here we're having a wheelbarrow which other one do you think is there uh-huh check there i want you to look at the human foot members look at the human foot check check this when you look at the human foot, your foot, my foot, okay? Check there. I even don't want to look at that foot. Let's come to this man of the wheelbarrow. Look at his foot. Check here. Check where this cursor is pointing, where I'm pointing here. Do you see that part? That is the pivot. Huh? Because if this part does not move, this part here, if it doesn't slide, if it doesn't move, okay? There's no way you can walk and take another step. If it becomes stuck there, there will be no movement. 
You see that gentleman, that man with the wheelbarrow, he's trying to, you see, he has lifted this part, the hill, the hill, this is the hill, okay? The hill, and easy hill, this one. He has lifted it so that this part can easily move, and he goes to another uh, different uh, step. You get there? So this one is the pivot of fulcrum. So that's what you see here, okay? Where your toes are, that is the pivot of fulcrum, okay? Now, all your weight, body weight, it rests on this hill, okay? Check. It rests on this hill, and that's where the effort is. Now, this effort, when you apply it, which load are you carrying? The load, check this leg. All my body weight, all my body weight when I'm walking, it rests on this leg. That's why this L, it is this leg. It is carrying all the body weight, okay? So when you look at this part and the hill, you'll find that uh, this leg, this leg here, okay? It is between this effort and that fulcrum. So since our weight rests between this hill of our foot and the toes, you know, now we say the Lord is between. It's in between, just like for wheelbarrow. That's why the human foot and the wheelbarrow have the same arrangement. So we have classified them or grouped them in a class of levers, which we call secondary class levers, because the Lord is between the effort and the pivot. Okay? Can we get another tool and we see? Huh? Are you following? Are we following? Check that. A nutcracker. Wait, what is that thing we call nut? Nut, which which we crack? Huh? There is these things here. You always bang with the stones. You like eating. You call it chinazi. Yeah? We get it. We get it from that palm tree. Okay? Is it chinazi? That hard seed. You always bang with the stone. Sometimes instead of the stone crushing it, it crushes the stone. You remember that? Yeah. I know. Right now, some of you at home, you are doing that. Okay? Now look at this. Hmm? We realize that using our physical force just to bang that thing with a stone, sometimes some people are very weak that they cannot do it. They cannot make it crack, okay? So what we do, we have uh, made a tool like this one. Check this tool, okay? We have made a tool like this one. That when I put this nutcracker here and with this part and I press it, because that thing has the same arrangement, I press it like this. Where this uh, nut, eh, where this seed is, that part has a sharp blade. It just cuts that eh, uh, seed, hard seed, and splits into two. Okay? So, this seed is the nut we are talking about. So, this device that it crushes or that makes it crack, it is the one we call nut cracker. Okay? So, this nut cracker is in the second class of levers. Why? Look at the position of the Lord. We said when you see the Lord is between the effort, which is here, because this is where I hold it, just like this. Okay? Just like this. That's where I hold it. But hey, the difference is, instead of the pivot being in the middle, it is now the Lord which comes here, but the part here goes to the other side. So, that's how we have interchanged it. So, now, this one, when I hold it here, and the Lord comes between here, it becomes second class lever. So, check there. This is now our Lord. Huh? So nutcracker is also is in the second class of levers. Let's check another one. Let's check another one. Look at the bottle opener. Somebody's opening a bottle at home. You like opening those bottles during birthday parties, huh? introduction parties, wedding, and so on. So here is where we are. Look at this. I told you wherever you see somebody holding that tool, the part where he's holding, he's applying effort. Okay. That's where he's exerting force for that machine to do its work. Okay? Now look at this bottle top. It is trapped between, I call it the teeth or the blade of this opener. You see the blade is here. It has kept this, mm, the load is this bottle top. It has now been kept by this blade in the middle. So now we are saying this load is between this pivot or this fulcrum and the effort. So this is in the second class of levers. Now, there is another tool that I have not given you, the diagram here. It is also in the second class of levers. At school, whenever we send you to the secretary, sometimes you find him cutting a paper, okay? Remember that paper cutter we have been using at school? Yes, a paper cutter. 
also it has a handle exactly like this nutcracker but it has a bigger board here on which you put your paper and then they cut it you remember that yes so we have um, our paper cutter so these are basically the tools that are in second class lever so to identify these tools okay just know only the middle position okay any tool we're looking at here if they say why is this in first class lever look at which which one is the middle object there which thing comes in the middle is it effort is it a pivot or it is the load like this one it is a pivot which is in the middle so this is in the first class lever now here i will borrow what is in the middle when you look at this arrangement the first prime is here or pivot is here load is there hmm? now when you look at the effort it is outside okay but the middle thing we see there that is the load meaning whatever comes in the middle there it gives us the class of lever for that tool okay so all that we have just seen here right now apart from the pair of scissors i'm holding okay all that is in my diagram those are tools in the second class levers now to complete this one thing children i want you to know is this okay one thing i want you to know out of this is that um when they're using this you should know in which direction does the effort go like this whole barrel the man when he's using it he lifts it up not so it means when i ask you to draw the direction of the effort for this whole barrel the arrow must go from this handle here upwards because that's where when i am using a whole barrel i first lift it up then i begin pushing it then this one look at this when i'm using this i press this way eh? this one this tool here when I'm using, I press. This is where the effort is. Look at that cursor. Don't look at my hand first. Look at where I'm pointing. Okay? There and here is where I hold. Okay? So, it's the same way like a pair of scissors. When I'm using, I press it. So, this one moves this direction. That one moves this way. So, it means, look at the diagram there. The arrow must move this way. Then the other one comes also this way. Okay? So, this is where the effort is this part here comes this way that one goes that direction the way you see this moving you see that so the arrow must move in that direction this way and the other one goes that way okay so that is with this now look at this he's pulling when you're opening hmm? a bottle top when you're opening hmm? it goes up hmm? you pull up you pull up using that kind of this type of bottle opener you see here you pull it up that's why you see this going up okay yeah so they are for children um they work for this particular lesson you are going to see it below the lesson okay we shall have it there remember to copy that work and do the exercise that will give you there thank you very much children we love you